I am AP Tamil Selvan, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, Kamadhan Arts and Science College, Satya Mangala. Today we discuss about the topic of characteristics and functions of data warehouse. First of all, what is data warehouse? A data warehouse is central repository of information that can be analyzed to make more informed decisions. That is called data warehouse. A data flows into a data warehouse from a transaction system, relational system, and other sources. It typically on a regular cadence. The three main types of data warehouse as follows. First one, enterprise data warehouse, and then second one, operational data store, and then third one, data mart. The next one, major characteristics of data warehouse. Data warehouse can be controlled when the user has a shared way of explaining the trends that are introduced in a specific subject. The below mentioned diagram was exposed to major characteristics of data warehouse. First one subject oriented, second one integrated, third one time variant, and fourth one non volatile. First one subject oriented. A data warehouse is always a subject oriented as it delivers information about a theme instead of organization current operations. It can be achieved on specific theme that means. The data warehouse process is proposed to handle with a specific theme, which is more defined. These themes can be sales, distributions, uh, marketing, and etc. A data warehouse never put emphasis only current operations. Instead, it focuses on demonstrating and analysis of data to make various decisions. It also delivers an easy and precise demonstration around a particular theme by eliminating data which is not required to make the decisions. The next one integrated. It is somewhere same as object orientation which is made in a reliable format. Integration means founding a shared entity to scale the all similar data from the different database. The data also required to be resided into various data warehouse in sad and generally grand bad manner. A data warehouse is built by integrating data from various sources of data such that data mainframe and relational database. In addition, it must have reliable naming conversion format and codes and etc. It is integration of data warehouse benefits in effective analysis of data that is called integrated. The next one time variant. In this data is maintained via different intervals of time such as weekly, monthly or annually and etc. It forms various time limits which are uh, structured between the large data sets and are held in online transaction process that is called OLTP. The next the time limits for data warehouse is wide range of uh, operation systems. The data resided in data warehouse is predictable with specific interval of time and delivers information from the historical perspective. Another feature of time variance is that once data is stored in the data warehouse, it cannot be modified, altered or updated. The next one non-volatile. Yes, the name defines the data resided in data warehouse is permanent. It also the data is not erased or deleted when new data is inserted. It includes the quantity of data that is inserted into modification between the selected quantity on business. It evaluates the analysis within the technologies of warehouse. In this data is read only refreshed at particular intervals. It does not need a transaction process, uh, recapture and concurrency control mechanism. Functional such as delete, update and insert that are done in an operational applications are lost in data warehouse environment. Two types of data warehouse operations is done in the data warehouse are first one data loading and the data access. These are all uh, two types of uh, data operations in volatile, non-volatile. Thank you.